Hello, epic viewers from around the multiverse. Brace yourself for unprecedented epicness, because today I'm going to elucidate why you should never consume a keto diet. So why should you desist and abstain and forgo consuming a keto diet? Why should it never be integrated into your life? Why should it never pervade your life? Well, there are a multitude of reasons to elucidate why a keto diet can be deadly. The keto diet unequivocally bears a deleterious effect against your longevity and well-being. Why, you may ask? Well, it recommends and advocates and purports that eating certain foods is healthy. Now, undergoing ketosis is unequivocally healthy, but the foods and it advocates eating are not. These foods that it recommends will ravage your DNA, they will shorten your telomeres, they will unravel your chromosomes, they will compromise your immune system, they will wreak havoc against your overall well-being, they will induce DNA damage. Aging is DNA damage. These foods will truncate your lifespan and they will increase your mortality rate. They lead to disease, inflammation, and other unwelcomed issues. So, first off, the keto diet recommends eating meat. Protein derived from animal sources is deadly. We have the anatomy of frugivores. We're not designed to digest meat nor consume animal secretions. The meat will decimate the DNA. It will rip apart the fabric of your body. It may take decades, but it's a recipe for disaster and a recipe for an impending tumor that's going to metastasize to other organs and proliferate throughout the body. So you should never, ever, ever, under any circumstance, put an animal product in your body, nor an animal secretion, such as milk and butter. The keto diet also recommends eating dairy products. Now, of course, we know that eating fast from fruits is eminently healthy. On my eating days, I consume 20 to 40 avocados. I try to consume at least 20 avocados per meal in conjunction with all the other fruits and vegetables that I consume. I only eat raw fruits and vegetables just in case you're unaware. I'm a raw fruitarian who only eats two days per week. I fast for 120 to 132 hours in a row, which is a 5 to 5.5 day time window. But, um, Saturated fasts, mono, unsaturated fasts, poly, unsaturated fasts, derived from animal products, from animal sources, are deadly. They clog the arteries, they wreak havoc against your health, and, um, They ultimately compromise your health and imperil your body. You don't want to eat these foods that will ravage and decimate your DNA. If you're thinking not eating fast, then have avocados profusely eat durian, olives, and avocados. Never eat high fat creams, butter, nor cheeses, nor any animal fast sources. So that's off the table. Then we have the recommendation to eat or two, I should say, drink oils. Oils are oxidized. Again, they ravage the DNA. So you should never consume anything oxidized. The diet also recommends consuming nuts and seeds. Um, I would advise against that. Nuts and seeds are um, 
And then they did. With phytic acid. Phytic acid inhibits your body from absorbing certain nutrients, such as magnesium. The diet also recommends consuming sweeteners. These sweeteners are artificial, synthetic, man-made poisons. I would never put them in my tempo. I would never put them in my vessel. So, yes, even though it is healthy to consume leafy greens, vegetables, avocados, and berries that the diet recommends. You also have to bear in mind that the diet advocates to consume ample products that ravage your DNA and that ramp up your cholesterol and that compromise every facet of your health. So if you want to experience inflammation, if you want to decrease your longevity rate, if you want to impair your body and um, not optimize your health, then you may be looking to pursue a keto diet, but I cannot recommend that anyone pursues a keto diet in good faith. You should undergo fasting in conjunction with being a raw fruitarian if you want to optimize your health, but if you're going to undergo prolonged fasting, make sure that your body is well nourished with uh, nutrients from fruits and vegetables. Make sure that um, you only eat fruits and vegetables raw so that the enzymes remain intact. Make sure that you eat fruits and vegetables characterized by high levels of alkalinity. Make sure that um, you eat fruits and vegetables that are chock full of phytonutrients, macronutrients, mito micronutrients, flavonoids, and um, carotenoids and other compounds that you need to um, attain optimal health. And make sure that you supplement with vitamin D3 from a plant-based source, vitamin B12 from a plant-based source, and nascent iodine if your diet is devoid of the aforementioned vitamins. I take vegan supplements, vitamin B12, B3, and nascent iodine. Never consume any oils, never have anything that's oxidized. Don't have any whole grains, they decimate the microvilli. Don't have any synthetic artificial man-made products such as sweeteners. Don't eat any animal carcasses. Don't eat any animal secretions. And um, only consume raw fruits and vegetables and supplement with uh, um, nutrients your body is devoid of from vegan sources that you're unable to get in your diet, so. I recommend and advocate never consuming the keto diet. It will shorten your life. It will induce inflammation. And um, it's a recipe for tumors, diseases, disaster, and um, an exacerbated life, so. Those are my two cents. I hope that you deemed this video to be insightful and enthralling. I'm curious about what you think. What are your sentiments appertaining to this diet? Do you think that it has a modicum of merit? Or do you concur that the raw vegetarian diet is the optimal diet? Please feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section beneath this video. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.